Hello again. I'm annoyed again. I am shaved. Oh, sorry. Anyways. The nine-year-old girl who supposedly uh, killed... Sorry, this is a ner nervous tick. Supposedly killed the instructor. I have an issue with that. Even, even the people who say hoax, that that's a hoax. Uh, I don't know why their, their reasoning is wrong to me. Uh, it's a hoax because no one would ever let a nine-year-old girl use that weapon. That's, that's why it's a hoax. That's not why I say it's a hoax. I think it is a hoax. And it's a very easy one to do. Okay? Everything's... You're not... This is not a huge public gathering like, uh, you know, a marathon. So this is very easy to, to stage and fake and whatever. Here's what I think happens first off. I think what you have is... I think you have, uh, you know, a nine-year-old girl, just like they say, and he's, she's being shown how to show it, and everything's going fine. She shoots off one. I'm, I'm doing this. This is wrong. <laughs> she, she shoots off one round, uh, and that goes well. Very little recoil. I think it's. I don't think it's nine millimeter. You know, some reports they say, well, it's a 9mm Uzi. Well, these 9mm Uzis come in 22mm variants. Uh, I mean, 22 caliber. So, not a lot of recoil. They don't have that much recoil anyways, I'm told. At least with the stock out. This one had a stock. So, it's not like she had this little automatic weapon out in her hand and it's just going... Which is probably what it would do. It was 9mm holding it like a pistol, it would just go, and that would be extremely dangerous. That's not, that's not what happened. It has a stock, you know, so it's, it's up against her shoulder. Uh, she's got a hold of the front. I think that's where things start to go wrong. She's got a hold of the front. I think it's 22 caliber, very little recoil. And this is what I think should, should and did happen, probably. Uh, he the guy, the instructor, puts it in full, full full auto, and she starts shooting, and it goes up and up and up and over, and she drops it and screams. This is all. It's, you can see, you know, it's hard to say what's what's real with the video, but in the video, it shows her, her free hand, her front hand, just without the gun in it, you know, the little, the little knob that she was holding on to. You don't see the gun, in the video, you don't see the gun going up, right? You see it going over to the left. But here's what I think happened. She's shooting it. The video got tampered with. She shoots. It goes up. She drops it. You can hear the gun hit the ground, and she screams a little bit or squeals or whatever. You can hear that she dropped the gun, okay? So if, if you're watching it at first, just, just listen to the audio. Yeah, you can't from the audio know which way the gun is going, but <laughs> you can kind of get gauge how long she's firing, and you can hear it hit the ground, and she screams a little bit. It's not like, "Oh my God, I murdered someone!" That kind of scream. <laughs> you know, it's like scared scream. Okay, so that's why things happening. I think we should not worry about whether you should give a nine-year-old girl an automatic weapon to shoot until we're sure this is not a hoax. If it's a hoax, you know, <laughs> stop. Don't discuss it like, you know, I shouldn't do that anyway. You know, and that's why it's a hoax. No, it's a hoax because they tampered with the video. And uh, the accounts I'm seeing, you know, from supposed gun experts, you know, on online, is that Uzi's always pulled to the left. <laughs> I think they're saying that because that's the only way they could make the video work so that he got shot. You know, the video, if you see it, is supposing that she lets go with the front, which probably happened. Here's the, let's go with the front hand. And they're saying the video is representing to you that the weapon tracks off to the left and shoots him in the head. He's supposedly like right here, but... I mean, his, his head's back here, 
His shoulder's there. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure if the weapon did go back that way, it's long at this point because it has a stock and everything, you know. I think it would, like, it would uh, end up hitting his shoulder, you know, and the, the barrel would be out here, and he, I don't think he would... I think he was in the right position. I don't think these guns do pull the left. I'm not an expert on Uzis, so I'm asking, I need to ask, you know, the gun YouTubers out there, where, where are you, you know, aren't you going to comment on this? Do Uzis really pull to the left? I just watched Hickok 45 video. Looks like a normal gun. Does this. Barely even does that, because he says these are heavy guns, you know. So I think they made up the idea that these Uzis pull to the left because that's the only way they could get this, get this guy, make it look like he got shot in the face. But here's my, I mean, if you watch the CNN interview, as they, they have, they had the video and the official story. So they give you both. They show you the video. They get to see the video. And then they list the official story. But the two don't match. <laughs> the video shows her letting go with the front hand and, and the gun goes to the left and shoots him in the face or whatever. It does this. Okay, guns don't really do that. I think the only thing I can think of would be a Tommy gun with a big barrel, big barrel feed. Those, I guess, pulled to one side. I'm not an expert. You, you know, any experts out there that I, that I'm sure aren't lying to me? Yeah, you know, let me know if if Uzi's pulled the left. Horrifically bad. The first shot she did didn't go like this. You know, the gun didn't jump that way. It just jumped up like a normal gun would, straight up. Okay. But anyways, back to CNN. They show the video where it goes to the side and he and. He supposedly gets in the face. But then they read the official story. And the official story is the gun goes up, firing recoil goes up over her head, and he's behind her and gets shot. But that's not what the video shows. So you've got these reporters saying, here's the official story, and here's the video. But they don't... They don't. Uh, they don't go. Wait a minute. Those are two different things. <laughs> two different events. He was either standing behind her, or he was standing to her left. The gun either recoils like every other gun, up, up and back, or it it recoils to the left every time, which it didn't do. Every time, <laughs> you know, the first shot, normal. Second shot. <laughs> I'm going to go this way. Why? What? Experts out there? Anybody? You know, it's it's fair to wonder if you should give a nine-year-old, uh, you know, an automatic weapon to play with. But the uh, the owner of the place was saying that he didn't literally say that this was a 22, but he was saying they let they let children use 22s. So he mentioned 22s, the owner of the facility did. Uh, and he also mentioned that his people are trained to not stand in a 6 o'clock position, which would be, you know, right behind somebody, 6 o'clock. So where else are you going to stand? Either to the left or to the right. Okay? Right? Where would you stand? Tell me where you would stand. And don't tell me, oh, I wouldn't, <laughs> I wouldn't, you know, let her use it. This is the policy of that place to let her use it. And it's probably a 22. And he's, if you're standing right there and he's got her back, you know, he's got his hand on her back and he's got his hand underneath her hand holding up the weapon. But if she starts to go up, I imagine he could, you know, do something about like block or whatever. I'm, I'm sure he's in a pretty good position. I think that 
pulling to the left thing is a myth, but again, I don't know. What's the tr This is not a hard thing to fake, though. Is what I'm saying. I think they got some a footage, footage of the uh, you know a scary incident where the the gun went out of control and the kid dropped it. Uh, you know, and they said, well, let's whip this up into something. Nobody got shot. You know, and then they whipped it up into something. All you gotta do is dink around with the video a little bit. You know, and. You would think you would see a trail of bullets going to the left in the sand, you know, unless unless the front of the, the gun got too high to to make that happen. But I didn't see the gun get that high. Uh, so there's no all you see is one bullet when she goes fully automatic, one bullet in the sand, and then over this way, and supposedly he gets shot in the face, but no trail of bullets in the sand. <sighs> Oh yeah, and uh, the only way, you know, unless there really is some issue with the Uzi that it does pull to the left, I don't think so, but the only way other than that would be if she turned the gun, you know, she's got it pointed, might as well forget this hand because she let go of it. If she turned the gun like this, then it would go that way because that's the recoil. The recoil is pushing against something that's off-center. The, the hand grip is off center. That's where the recoil comes from. I mean, as far as the movement of the not, the the front of the gun. If if you had your hand directly behind the gun, there wouldn't be any recoil. As far as the front of the gun going somewhere, okay. But you know you can't do that. So that's why your hand is below the gun. The torque makes it go up and backwards because. You're, you're stopping it from moving here, but the rest of the gun wants to come back, up and back, but not to the side, unless you turn your hand, right? And then everything operates this way. But I don't see her turn the gun. I don't see her turn her hand. You know, I think it's all Hollywood video fuckery is what it is. So, so even even the truthers, there's like a couple people like Red Pill Revolution and his buddy who talk about it. The first thing is that it's fake because no, because they're letting a child use a gun. That's why it's fake. But then they don't discuss, you know, if it's fake, then obviously the video is fake. So what about the video was fake? They don't discuss that. They just say, you know, never give a kid a gun. And that's what every anti-gun person would say. Why, why come at it from that angle? You're just making it worse for us. <laughs> us who think we might need a gun. Anyways, it's a. It's got everybody talking. You know, all the uh, people on the fence that are going, "Oh my God, I gave a child a gun, and it's the worst thing ever." And, uh, but if it's fake, okay, <laughs> then it's a lot of hysteria over something that's fake. Don't don't kiss hysterical. First, check out <laughs> the video. Is this bullshit or not? And then get hysterical if you want. But where are the gun people saying it doesn't do that? Come on! Come on! Haas USMC, come on! What do you say? You know? Somebody got a friend who's got an Uzi, does it pull to the left? Is that realistic? I think it's all a horse shit. I don't think it's true. I think it was 22 caliber, and he didn't get shot in the face. They just took a scary incident. They had it on on film. I don't know if it was the facility's film. They say it was the parents taking, you know, with the cell phone. Uh, I don't know. Either way, the authorities got it. 
and I think they uh, manipulated it and said everybody shut up we're gonna do this thing we have a whole anti-gun campaign we're doing you guys just keep quiet you know the police are gonna go along with it because they want the funding and all that you know and uh, you can strong arm <laughs> Strong arm if you have to. I don't know if you have to. Strong arm the people at the uh, at the fight the gun range if you have to, and say, look, don't talk about your friend not being dead and <laughs> stuff like that, and we'll let you stay in business. So that one's a hoax in my opinion. But you know, anybody have uh, something to say about about it? I mean, I'm still open to that not being a hoax. Let me know. Okay, bye.